One of the most commonly asked questions that comes out of the digital planner community from those that are seeking digital planning and looking for a tool that's going to help them organize their life is will your digital planner or any digital planner for that matter sync with my Outlook, Google or Apple calendars? And there are so many different layers to this question that I'm about to answer for you. And I'm going to give you a handful of tips that are going to help bridge those connections between those devices. But the thing I want to illustrate first with you is that the answer is outright no. There is no digital planner that you can type in and handwrite in and make annotations that will automatically sync and add those appointments to your calendar and vice versa, bring the calendar into your digital planner. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Most of them are technical. But I want you to understand that because there's so many people out there that make the false impression that they have a connection or an integration. And all that really is is just taking another shortcut or creating another task that allows you to send or open up another app to be able to add that. And if that's a feature you want to do, you don't need to pay for that. It's free. Go ahead and many different devices have the ability to create shortcuts and you can go ahead and do that. But today, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can do it that kind of makes that bridge seem more visual than just an action or a task. But before we dive into all that, I want to have a conversation with you about why you're even exploring digital planning in the first place. Obviously, you are someone that uses Google Outlook or Apple calendars for your scheduling. But why are you exploring planning? And that is something that so many people, when they get into the phase of exploring planning, they start looking at it as a competition against scheduling on these electronic scheduling systems. And I want to be able to bridge that for you so you fully understand why you would do one, the other, or consider doing both. First off, when you're using Outlook, Apple, or Google Calendars, you are just scheduling your time. You are putting appointments into your calendar to remind you where you need to be and who you're meeting with. You're not actually planning. You're not putting in notes and writing out tasks and prioritizing your goals and asking the questions or getting the answers you need from those time blocks. You're literally just committing your life to a calendar and living by it. When it comes to planning, you're going way beyond that. You're looking at what your goals are, what your vision is for yourself. You're taking into account those activities or those appointments or events into your planner, but then with all the other space, you're prioritizing your time. You're making investments on the things that matter most. You're establishing your key three each and every day. You're organizing your to-dos on the priorities that matter most. And you're doing that simultaneously with the scheduled activities. And I ask every single person, bottom line, what are you here for? Are you looking to plan and own your life and make the most out of each and every day by putting the right things first? Or are you looking for a system that is simply going to notify you, buzz you on where you need to be and when you need to be there? Now, for many of you, you might want both, and that's perfectly okay. That's why I recommend a primary and secondary calendar system. Use your planner to plan out your goals, your action steps, your to-dos, and how you're going to manage your projects and the activities each and every day. Use your scheduler, those electronic notifications, to give you a reminder so that when you get focused and get in the weeds on things, there's something to help pull you back so you remember where you need to be when you need to be there. And you can do that through a number of different ways. But what I'm going to show you now is how you can help bridge those two so it doesn't feel like you're going in two different directions. Before we do that, one more thing I want to illustrate with you is you need to also have obedience and be determined each and every day to have some type of morning routine. For me, I wake up every day, I take three to four minutes, I look at my scheduler, I look at my planner, and I manually sync them. I look at all the to-dos on my list and I reprioritize them. I reestablish each and every day what matters most to me and I put those things first on my plate. I establish key three, three things that are going to make an important impact on my results for the day. And then I go through all the different activities that I have scheduled for today. If I have meetings with people, I write out, hey, what questions do I want to ask? What answers do I want to get? That way, when I show up, I'm ready for that face-to-face -face or that appointment 
so that I get from it what I need so I don't feel like I'm just spinning my wheels. Keep that in mind as you go through the rest of this video and as you start to use a digital planner with electronic scheduler. And if you want to learn more about secondary and primary scheduling, there will be a link in the description. And by all means, if you're starting to get something from this video, go ahead, hit the like button, smash it open for me, subscribe to the channel. I'm Brandon Bonderfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner, where my goal is to help you learn technology and help you reach the goals and aspirations you have through daily planning activities. So let's talk about some of these methods that are going to help you synchronize your digital planner with your electronic scheduler. The first and probably easiest is just to use a digital assistant. So this here is my digital planner. And you can see I have a workout scheduled for 3.30 on June 6th. Now I could go ahead and open up my calendar and add that. Or I could say, hey Siri, can you go ahead and add to my planner on June 17th from 3.30 to 5 to schedule a workout? you can see it added it right there. Now what's so powerful about that, I never had to leave the application that I was taking my plans in, but it is there in my schedule. So if I go ahead and open up my calendar, you will see if I move to the 17th of June, it has now been added to my schedule. So I'll still get the notification. So that's one of the first tips I have for you. Go ahead and utilize your digital assistant to be able to create those events and activities for you. And you can do that with more than just events. You can even do it with reminders. And this will work across Apple, Android devices as well. And there's even some Windows tools that'll be able to do that. So don't be handcuffed thinking that you have to manually make that synchronization happen. The second thing you can do, and we're right now using an iPad and we're using the new OS. So for many of you, this will look familiar. For those that are still in the old iOS, you might have to work with that a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag my calendar here up and I'm gonna pull this here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a side-by-side -side calendar. So where might this be important? So now what I'm doing is I'm actually going to look at my calendar and I can slide that over and I can see on the 17th here and I have the 17th here. So my calendar is pretty much aligned. You can see all the activities for the most part on both sides. But if I wanted to go ahead and add an event here where I wanna go ahead and say I'm gonna have coffee at eight o'clock, I can do so and I could come over here and tap and add that same event and manually sync that. And easy enough, you can see now that coffee has been added. So one thing that I'll commonly do is I will just go ahead and I will look at my individual planning dates and go day by day and just manually sync. And I do that each and every morning for a few minutes, reprioritizing the task. I also do that at the end of the week. Now, can I do this more than just one note? Yes. You might be someone that is a good notes user or a PDF annotation user. Absolutely. Go ahead. and You can do the same thing with those other applications. The whole idea here is just make it a side by side experience. Split that screen for yourself. And the third tip I want to show you is one that was kind of brought to my attention by one of our users. And that's the thing about this community. There's always people contributing ideas and thoughts. This one here I thought was very genius. So what they've been doing is they go ahead and they open up their calendar and they see they have their calendar here. Now you can again do this on any type of device, but they simply take a screenshot. With the Apple device, you kind of just drag from the corner and then you can go ahead and copy that date. And they just go ahead and go in here and they copy that event just like you see here. They include the times in there and then they just go up here and they choose copy and delete. This way it doesn't save it to their gallery, but it puts it in a clipboard. Then they can go ahead right into their application. So maybe if they're using uh, GoodNotes, we'll start with that one to show you how it works, is they go ahead and they just tap and they paste it. And you can see that invite is right there. They kind of bring it in here and they simply resize it down so it fits in the same blocks, eight to six, bring it over top and look at that. You literally have their entire calendar right from their Apple calendar. You could do this from Google or Outlook or any calendar right in here and it's written out really nice. And they can still go ahead and start to make annotations with what their daily key three is. They could even write in additional meetings that might come up in the free space they might even be able to interject like, hey, you know what? Actually, during this time, I'm going to make this a flex time to work on a project. So I'm going to put that right in there. 
So that is one thing that is super powerful. And you can, again, do that in OneNote as well. I'm going to come in text mode and I'm going to hit paste. And you can see it went ahead and it added that same block. And I'm just going to come in here, bring it up to where the time is and easily bring it in there and slide it over. And sure enough, I now have that same calendar imported. So there's a number of different ways that you can kind of bridge these two systems. You can go ahead and use the digital assistant. You can do side by side and do manual syncing. You can simply take a screenshot or a web or screen snippet and paste it into the planner. But the whole concept here is by doing this, you are bringing that scheduling system into a planner and environment. And what planning is going to do, it's going to open up a lot of doors and avenues for you. You're going to be able to start looking at your goals, the vision that you have for yourself, establishing what action steps you need to be able to take advancement on and be able to make those part of your daily planning. When we look at our planning system, we have the weekly key tools, the visionary tools, and all the different planning tools to help you maximize that. And if you haven't learned about the Key to Success Planner, we have an entire free library of training tools. I encourage you to go ahead in the description and check them out, but it's gonna help you do one of two things. Give you the productivity you need each and every week so you can maximize your performance or help you build out a vision so that over the next three to five and even 10 years, you can reach the goals and aspirations that you have for yourself. And throughout the way, we'll be here together and we'll make this journey happen. But in this video, I wanted to take the time to show you why you should move past the whole concept of, hey, does it sync with my Google Calendar? Oh, it doesn't. I don't want to look at planning. Because the truth and the honest statement to yourself is, if scheduling has been working for you all this time, why are you considering planning? Because the truth of it is, scheduling alone doesn't help us accomplish, help us set goals for ourselves, and create a vision for our lifestyle. It's simply blocking off time in our day and giving us reminders on where we need to be. I'm Brandon Bordendorfer, and Lord willing, I'll see you in the next video.